So there's a good argument there. Well, let's get going with one of the two hottest bowlers on the plan. Nan, 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 it, and it's going to stay up. And Jacob Buttrip opens with a bucket. And then let's not forget that Dick Allen was a former MVP of the league. He is the Baron of Bayside. Yeah. This building, doesn't matter which side we bowl on, it does makes no difference to that man. He bowls splendidly here. And I know that I'm going to get a ton of hate mail from all the Tom Doherty fans. And from Tom. And from Tom. But oh, no! Oh. That's all right. If you're going to open, make it the first frame. Yeah, that's true. And the NYC overcame and opened in the second frame to win their first of the two games they needed to win in this race for two games on this Baker format. Jacob Butcher coming off of another win this season. Now, this guy and this event are, are a good marriage. Yeah. He is an emotional player, and this is his environment. Yep. Right now. It doesn't hurt that he's really good, too. Well, everybody knows who this guy is, I would think, if you follow the PBA Tour or the sport in general. Yeah. Yes. I'm sorry, Dave. No, Go that's all right. You're all-time major champion. Yeah. Number 11. <laughs> This season, breaking the record, amazing. Look how deep he is. Ooh, that, that looked like somehow there was a magnet under the lane to get that thing to turn like it did, but he does leave a 10 on the deck. Well, he's crossing 20 boards. So from, from at the arrows to the break point, there's a 20 board difference. Boy, it looked like a good shot. I could do that, said me never. If you use two bowling balls, you can put them together and make one giant bowling ball, maybe. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. And, well, what's the old expression about hit him thin and watch him spin? Yeah. No chance. That strikes. No chance, of no chance of striking. Into the leadoff bowler, Jesper Svensson, who spared in the first frame to start things for the Adam Splitters. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The 10 pin was a touch punch drunk there, but it, it fell. Yeah. <laughs> Problem is, Chris can still bowl with these guys. Yeah. How about Stu Williams? Throwing it nice and soft and really opening up the lane. You can see there at 17.3 miles an hour. That's a little on the slower side for professionals. I didn't move. I just made. I just opened up a little bit more. Like I didn't move my feet. We went nine spare in the fourth frame. Oh no no no! Oh, ho, ho, that was such a good looking shot. Carbon copy of his first shot. Another violent ring and 10 for Jason Del Monte. And that's going to prove costly. They could have struck out for 228 and got right back in this. And now their max score is only 208 with a spare here. Look out. Missed it. Uh oh. Game one's going to go to the Adam Splitters. So here is your USBC Masters champion, Jacob Buttriff. And in the don't try this at home category, he's on the list. There you go. <laughs> there you go. He wants a little more noise for that shot. I will take no credit for that. He threw the ball. Maybe I'll take a little bit of credit. Wow. Finally. Just absolute pancake flattening strike by Belmo. What do you think that does to his psyche when manager Andrew Kane so back to Jason about how big he is. Yeah, but you know what? I, I'm going to tease that going to break. Oh, you son of a gun. You yeah. Know. All right. Here's the Baron. Again, it's his building. He's just letting us use it. LAX looking to get right back into this. Dave. Svensson looking to cut the lead by LAX to 13 with a strike here, working on a double. The Iceman can he deliver? Cannot. 
Same thing. <laughs> Go ahead. Can we say it at the two, same time? <laughs> two great minds thinking alike. Go ahead. I'm in the storm booth working with all of our guys, just like all of the other manufacturers with their pro staffers. And we sign. Okay, the messenger takes down the 10 pin. That one he gave enough room to the right. Yeah. Okay. So we're there signing autographs for 40, for over 4,000 kids and their parents for 10 hours. Wow. But here's the kicker. We got an hour break uh, for lunch and. I'll add one good one. The wake of the Parkland tragedy. Well, you got to strike back. Oh, look out of the late nasty crossover. The Adam splitters are in big, big trouble. We may be headed for that one ball roll off. I don't know how the Adam splitters are going to avoid it. They won the first game, but right now, and that may do it yeah. right there. That did do it. So it really simply, it's going to be a one ball roll off. The manager obviously gets to make the choice for his team. This match must be Hang decided on, let's listen by to a one Kruger. ball sudden death roll off. <laughs> LAX is the higher seed. They will have choice of starting. Andrew, who's going to start the match? Jason. LAX will throw the first ball. The teams will remain on the same lane if they're tied after this first ball. The team managers will elect another player to throw another shot. We'll continue like that until the tie is broken. Good luck, players. He'll go first. Two ringing, two ringing tens on the left lane, two strikes on the right lane. What does he do here? Oh, no! Another wacky shot! <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. Watch this. The ball rolls out. It quits right in front of the head pin. And then he trips the 2-5. Are you the one, serious? The one thing done to, don't, don't get behind him too much. Okay, that's right. You heard him telling Stu Williams, whatever you do, don't get behind it too much. Remember, I talked about that rollout when the hand gets too heavy behind it. Well, Chris Barnes has to just laugh that off. And now they're yelling, Hall of Fame. Must strike. likes it. Quit no, on no, no, not going to happen. And LAX has knocked out the defending champions with the roll off. Wow. It'll be a NYC versus LAX in the semifinals tomorrow night. And we're going to talk to Jason in just a second.